Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Yusuf, and today I will show you step by step how to configure router D-Link using static IP. Installation, connect DSL modem to telephone. Make sure that the telephone cable is connected into the back of your DSL modem in the line port and also connected to a telephone in the wall. And when you pick up your telephone, you should then have a dial tone if your phone is an active line. And then connect the SL modem to PC uh, with Ethernet cable. Configuration. Make sure your mobile phone or your computer is connected to the internet. You will need to be connected to the internet in order to access the router page by Wi-Fi or by Ethernet cable from your modem to your PC or laptop. Open a browser to access the router page. You can use Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox or Safari from your iPhone. Open a web browser such as Internet Explorer and enter the IP address of the router. Enter 192.168.0.1 Username admin, password leave it blank by default. Click Setup Wizard. Welcome to the D-Link Setup Wizard. Click Next. Set a new password or leave it blank. This password is for administrator access to the web-based configuration page. Select your time zone. Don't change it and click Next. Choose static IP and click next. Choose static IP and enter the IPs as follow. Enter the IP address, for example 192.168.1.64 from the range. The range is from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.253. The IP of subnet mask 255.255.255.0 The gateway address is the modem's IP address For example, Thomson or Technicolor The IP is 192.168.1.254 For TP-Link 192.168.1.1 And the same for primary DNS IP address And the secondary DNS IP address Is the modem's IP address for uh, Thomson or Technicolor 192.168.1.254, TP-Link or D-Link 192.168.1.1 or 0.1. When you finish, click Next. Setup complete. Click Connect to save your settings. Once the router is finished rebooting, click Continue. Click Launch Wireless Security Setup Wizard. Welcome to the D-Link Wireless Security Setup Wizard. Click Next. Wireless Network Name SSID is the Wi-Fi name. Name your wireless network and click Next. Select Best WPA2, then click Next. WPA2 PSK for security reason. Wireless security password. Type your Wi-Fi password, then click Next. It's better to be a complex password and at least eight digits. Setup complete and configuration done. You can now connect to the internet and use it. If you like my video, please leave a comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with my latest video. Thank you so much.